What's up, you guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. So as you could tell by the title, we are going ahead and we're going to try out the Artist Couture. This is the Supreme Nudes, the Quickie Palette. So this is the cart that it came in. The back has all of the information as far as ingredients. This is just like a quick glimpse of what the shadows look like. I did already take it out of the packaging, um, which I have my handprints all over. So here she is. Uh, first and foremost, I do love like this nude color of this packaging. Um, same information on the back as far as all of the ingredients. And um, let me double check. This is cruelty free and vegan. It does come with a mirror. And then these are the shades here. So it's a very pretty nude neutral color story there are um some cool tone shades in here as well so if you would like to see my thoughts and how i feel about this palette then please keep on watching don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this to come and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's look bye Okay, guys, so my eyelids are primed. I did just go ahead and use my Ginger uh, Concealer by NARS. So first going in with the shade Mink, I am going to go ahead and blend that into the crease. Um, actually, this color, because I'm going in with a deeper tone, you do need to kind of pack this in to the crease. And I'm just going to take like this slender blending brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. And like I said, we're just going to go ahead and pack that on the crease. Now to clean that up, we are taking the shade Nudist and we are going to just kind of go over those edges of the mink shade so that we don't have like any harsh lines. And like I said, just blend that out, make it look seamless and smooth. So here we're taking the shade Aesthetic and we are going to kind of add that into the outer corner of the eye. And that is like a brick brown shade. So very nice, pretty shade. I was trying to use as many colors in this palette as I could. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and blend that into the outer part of the eye.
So here I chose to go in with the shade Iconic, which is the gold shimmer shade. And I'm going to place that on the inner corner of the eyelid. Um, and as you can kind of see, it just gives a light sheen. That is without me adding anything down. And also I did not spray the brush. So there was definitely some fallout in this. So I'm just <laughs> obviously kind of going over trying to clean it up. And it was mainly, I noticed the fallout with the shimmer shades. Next, we're going in with the shade Supreme 2.0, which is a shade similar to the OG Supreme News palette. But he says that they added something different to it to make it look a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of placing that on the center of the lid just to kind of utilize most of the shades in the palette and then i will also go back over and clean this up as you can see just to kind of make sure there are still no harsh lines but so far this is the look and again this is without adding glitter glue and without spraying the brush now on the lower lash line, I am taking the shade Undressed, which is that pretty cool tone taupey color. Um, and I'm just going to run that there. And then for the inner corner, I am going to go in with the shade Brilliance. Again, this palette comes with eight shades and I used seven of the eight today. Um, just to kind of see how they perform without anything added to them. All right, you guys, so final verdict, you do not need her. Um, to be very honest, and I'm just gonna hold these up side by side. If you already have the original Supreme Nudes palette, you do not need the Quickie Supreme Nudes. That is my honest opinion. Also, this one blends better and is more pigmented than this one. I'm not sure if there was a formula change or not. Um, I don't like to keep blaming things on. Maybe I got a bad batch. Come on. How many bad batches are there? No, I'm just kidding. But no, for real. Um, it just wasn't as pigmented to me. It, it, I mean, the colors blended beautifully together, but it just did this for $30 did not wow me. And honestly, I think this is around the same price price obviously a huger palette you know the size difference is significant you get four more eyeshadows in this than this one if you already have supreme nudes do not pick up the quickie that is my opinion if you wanted to pick up one of his palettes and you do not have either one grab this one honestly in the new one there are only two new shades once again and that is undressed and brilliant but to me even in the og palette i feel like silhouette is still giving that cool tone i think in this one it's just a little bit deeper but you still have a cool tone shade here and then bronziana is still like a pinky bronze shimmer shade the difference that i noticed again um the original one i had no issues like i said it was pigmented the shimmer shades were there without really having to spray your brush this one i feel like i struggled a little bit like Again, this is my second time recording this video today. I had to literally wipe my eyeshadow off because it, it was really, really bad. Like, 
I sprayed my brush and everything and nothing was happening. So if you did pick this up or you do, um, again, you might not have the same issues that I did. Um, I did mention, well, this was in the video I recorded, but I deleted that whole thing. But um, with this one, what I'm going to try to do next time is maybe use like some glitter glue and put down as a base before I go over top with the shimmer shade. I know that a lot of people don't like to do that. They want their shadow to just automatically pop. The one thing that I will say is I have palettes that are cheaper than this that performed a lot better. So again, I don't wanna keep blaming every time something doesn't work. I don't wanna keep saying, oh, maybe I got a bad batch. Or maybe it just wasn't what I thought it was. So that is my honest, honest opinion. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment on your thoughts if you're going to be picking this up or if there are some new products that you see on the market that you would like for me to try and just kind of test out for you guys. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a blessed day. Be safe out there. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.